Reconnecting Africa. I'm just here to talk about something that you never heard from this channel. I'm going to talk about football or soccer, as I think called in the Western world. As you know, there's a women's old cup happen now in Australia. I did have a chance to see games that I really want to see it. I was looking forward to see the game Jamaica, Brazil, Jamaica, Panama, Nigeria, Zambia, South Africa, I mean, Colombia, I mean, all the games that uh, our people are involved in. But unfortunately, just could not get it. Luckily, I managed to get a, a ticket to see the game Panama versus France. Panama on this game came as an underdog. And before I got there, I would just say that France won the game and everyone else won the game. As we know, France was one of the top teams probably in Europe or in the world, I don't know. And much about women's football, but assume that France has to be on top. Whereas Panama probably in the first old cup. Surprisingly, Panama scored the first goal, which was a shock for everybody. The stadium was, was sort of uh, muted. You know, it was a stunner, it was a wonderful goal from uh, number 10 from Panama, I think is the captain, Cox. You know, very good player. She scored from a long range. You know what I mean? A wonderful goal. And uh, where well, from there, I just saw where well, we could have a surprise here tonight. Anyway, I came there to support Panama. You know what I mean? And, and uh, as I do, you know, I would like always to support teams where our people are involved. As you know, Panama is a country with a lot of Afro descent people. So I went to support my people. I joined the crowd. It was a, a very physical game, a very tough game. In some instances, I, I thought that the referee was, was more on was a bit biased, was more on France's side, you know, you know, some free kicks that could go in favor of Panama, the referee just ignored, you know what I mean? A lot of things. And the and the, and the you know and the crowd saw so even the neutral crowd, the crowd that went to support that dance of support France or Panama or you know, they just you know, they were supporting Panama, you know, Panama end up having the the support of the crowd, you know. And then in one stage, France was five or four one. Panama came back. The score was so close, five three, and the, we could see uh, Panama coming back. And then, uh, you know, France got another penalty. But you know, so it was really a tough game, you know. You know this is that thing. Where's this Afro people? They joy. You know, it wasn't really about, about the football itself, it was more about the party, you know, and that's what happened in the end, even though um, Panama lost the game, you know, even though they lost the game, they just, in the end, they went partying, they went dancing, and like, you know, they won the game. And I was talk, I was uh, sitting next to uh, an African lady, and she said to me that this lady, this Panama, this Afro, sisters from Panama, they're still Africans. They haven't lost anything from Africa. They still got that vibe. They still got that spirit of Afro people. You know, you saw them, you could see them dancing, jumping, you know, even though they lost, but the joy just, you know, and it made me feel any sport of our people in there, it's just a dead game, you know. They brush vibe, and this happened in every game where there's African people team playing, you know, all teams where the majority are black, they, you know, just, you know, just different vibe. And then also I would like to, 
congratulate, you know, other Afro teams, you know, Jamaica made it against Brazil and France, of course, but they made it, they didn't lose a game, they drew France, they beat Panama, they drew the last game of uh, Brazil, you know, they just never gave up, you know, this African spirit in there. Congratulations to my Jamaican sisters. Also, I would like to congratulate South Africa. Made it in the last minute, you know. Then, you know, this the spirit of, uh, you know, winning Mandela, the spirit of Mandela, the spirit of Zulu Day, you know, the spirit of Bantu in there. Then beat Italy, you know, in the last game. Also, congratulations to Nigeria. They beat my home team, Australia. You know, it's not easy. Tough game, you know what I mean? Australia made it to, as a top of the group, and Nigeria came second. So Nigeria did well there. And congratulations to Nigeria as, as well. You know, might be the fufu, a lot of fufu in Nigeria. Uh -huh, could be. And in, uh, unfortunately, I think Morocco did the make, and also Zambia, but they had the win. Congratulations there. And then... Also, I'm expecting Colombia to get through. I hope they got through. So congratulations to, to Colombia as well. You know, they had a good win against Germany. Then got a, a, a new, a young player there. You know, we're going to hear a lot about this young girl, Casido something. Forgive me if I pronounce the name wrong. A wonderful thing to see our people, our Afro-descent people, our African people there, you know, involved in the World Cup. And I know countries like Canada, America, um, or Brazil, you know, um, you know, France. We had a lot of African-descent sisters in the team, you know. So congratulations to them. And the, like I said earlier, our sport, of uh, our people will be a dead sport. Anyway, um, the reason why I brought this video here is that I watched the game Panama and the, and the France. Even though France won the game, the thing that really stood out for me was in the end of the game. The uh, Panamanian players they walk towards the crowd, the supporter, and they just join them in celebrations. They were celebrating like they won the World Cup or something. It was so wonderful to see our sisters there, you know, our Afro sisters dancing, singing, you know, jumping, you know. You know, this for me was the highlight of uh, this game, you know what I mean? And the, like I say, prove once again how important our people are in this world, you know. So congratulations to Panama, you know, I enjoyed the game. I met a lot of Panamanian people there, a lot of people from South America. They would love to visit Africa because they know that's their road. So it was good, a uh, good feeling, good vibe to be in around my people, around the Afro descent people, the African community supporting Jamaica. So it was so good to see how people support one another in every aspect. You know, it's because in the end of the day, as a black people, we are family, we are one people. So you know, yeah. So that's what I was going to talk about on this video. Something that you know, we don't talk much on this on this channel, but it's something very important for our people. You know, we know that uh, we are one people, we are black people. You know, we are connected. You know, what I mean, and the sport is a part of, especially soccer, football is a part of um, uh, Africa life, black life. You know, it's a huge in the, in the Caribbean. It's huge in Africa. You know, so there's a lot of, you know, a lot of young people coming through, young girls and, you know, oh, so wonderful to see this game. Thank you for watching this and uh, I want you to watch the celebrations in the end. And please, wherever you are, whether you are in Africa, in the Caribbean, in the Pacific, in Europe, in America, in Asia, wherever you are, please subscribe to Reconnecting Africa, reconnecting people of Africa descent.
Until next time, I'll say, reconnecting Africa. Bye-bye. <laughs>